everybody. Dave Krause here with Noise Work. Thank you. Now I feel welcome. So I'm a co-founder of NoiseAware. NoiseAware is a non-invasive noise monitoring service for the vacation rental industry. About a year ago, I was an Airbnb host growing my portfolio of Airbnbs. And then this happened. This is a cease and desist from my, one of my building's lawyers. One of my Airbnb guests, who shall remain nameless, <coughs> Christina, actually threw a massive party at my Airbnb. All my neighbors were pissed. The Dallas police were there. In fact, the Dallas Police Department found out about this party before I did. And that's why I got this letter. This letter cost me $10,000. The worst part about it was this was the first of two cease and desist letters I received that month. The second one was at a different Airbnb, my favorite Airbnb, that was making a lot more money and actually cost me about $25,000. After those two events, I thought, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, you know what? I'm gonna invent a solution to this problem. <laughs> so I called the best electrical engineer I know, who couldn't be here because he's meeting with Airbnb, Andrew Schultz. Andrew's an electrical engineer. So we huddled up in the garage and decided we needed a couple features to make this happen. This is NoiseAware as well. Um, NoiseAware has three main features. Number one, it can sense the noise level in an apartment. Number two, it can provide me with an instant alert when the noise level exceeds a acceptable threshold during quiet hours. And number three, this is the most important one. It preserves the, and protects the privacy of the guest. Think of noise aware as a smoke detector for noise. The smoke detector on the ceiling of your kitchen does not care if you're a good cook. It doesn't care if you even burn toast. All it cares about is when there's an unsafe level of smoke in the room. We apply the same principle to noise. So unsafe level of noise, sends a message to, in this case, the fire department, and that would be me, the manager, who needs to go deal with that before D uh, Dallas Police Department. How big of a problem are noise complaints in this industry? You might say, they're huge, right? <laughs> so, um, one in every 1,000 nights booked results in a noise complaint. And it's no surprise that you see a lot of headlines like these, when there were 17 million nights booked just this past summer alone on Airbnb. Again, a huge market. So our target market is 6.1 million vacation rental homes across the United States and Europe. And this past fall, we conducted 60 interviews with professionals in the industry and found out that the larger portfolio managers were the ones who had the greatest need and were most excited about noise aware. These managers have, on average, 137 properties spread out all over the cities or areas that they're in, and they can be miles apart. They're responsible for keeping the peace at all of these at the same time, and we're gonna help them do that. Now look at that number in the upper right. Each one of these, on average, is generating $27,000. We propose that for $99 a year, you can protect that revenue stream in a way that wasn't available before. All this in the fastest growing sector in hospitality, grew 30% last year. So how does Noiseware actually prevent a noise complaint? I don't know if any of you guys remember the cartoon uh, G.I. Joe. At the end of it, they had a PSA that said, now you know, and knowing is half the battle. Well, we apply that same principle to preventing noise complaints. And it makes sense, actually, uh, I'll tell you why. Managers can't prevent noise complaints they don't know about, end of story. We make sure they know about it. They can customize their settings. It takes five minutes to set up. And when they have an issue, they'll be the first to know, not the last. So what is Noise Aware doing today? We've had two successful interventions with our first customer within the first month. That, thank you. Translation, it works. <laughs> we have 15 vacation rental managers signed up as 
as our first customers who will be receiving the first All one. All right. Month. Time. I know. Don't you just... Oh, I'm, I'm glad you guys could all read because I, I just would have been reading that to you. Leave them wanting more. Yeah, that's good, right? All right, Q&A. Here we go. Don't be scared. So noise is relative. So mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you monitor that? Technology. Well, I mean, I, again, no, no, no. So what I mean is this. So like, a, well, and again, I get that. But let's say there's 10 of us in a hotel room and, sure. we're, and we're just talking. Yeah. But somebody would complain, and there's no big party noise level. So isn't the noise relative again? Now, I know they can adjust it. You said that, but. I, no, I didn't mean to be flippant. But, no. Um, no. Uh, point being that noise complaints are subjective. I think that's what you mean. You know, your, your neighbor who might be 95 years old might have a different sensitivity level. Well, the fact of the matter is a lot of cities have noise ordinances and 85 decibels after 10 p.m., that sort of thing. And then each manager is gonna know their property better than anybody. And so we gave the manager an ability to commission the, the noise aware when they plug it in in the five minute setup and determine what is acceptable, unacceptable. And then most importantly, it's quiet hours. So at 4 a.m., what's acceptable at noon are two different things. So we took all that into account when building our technology, but it, and we're also working with some machine learning, um, you know, angles on it to be able to, to best best solve that. Yeah, I have the mic. Yeah. So earlier you got interrupted while you were explaining traction. So what is your traction? Sure. Um, <laughs> thank you. Um, so I think. The, the last point is uh, we're going to be launching in April. This industry has some major conferences in April. Before then, we've been testing with customers. Uh, our customers have, the, the ones that we've signed up, have 1,700 roughly properties in their portfolio. So we're now going to be uh, working with them to roll out to the rest of their properties. The gentleman who had the first two successful interventions has already committed. He installed two devices originally. He's offering it to the rest of his ownership uh, to roll it out to their first 100 portfolio. Yeah. Hey, I uh, have a quick, quick question. I think it's a great idea that you come up with. Do you have a, um, is there a health check monitoring service where you know, you're, you're pinging this thing every five minutes or whatever? What keeps, you know, some people that want to party just unplugging the thing? It's a great question. Um, you see the screw plate hole at the top of the device? That is going to be your first line of defense of it falling off or being pulled out. As soon as you, you're disconnected, that manager is going to get a notification of a loss of connection. It could be one of three things. The Wi-Fi went down, something that's relevant to any property would guess. Power went down, something that's very relevant, storms and things of that nature, blackouts. And lastly, if somebody pulls it off the wall, those are get the same message. Can you tell me about the competitor? Oh, sorry. Sure. Competitors yeah. in this space? I'm, I'm just surprised there's nothing like it. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> it's actually, um, there, there is one product to speak of that actually... Uh, says it will give you a noise alert. It also has about 14 other sensors in it. You guys can look it up. It's called Point. It was kickstarted about a year ago. They've been in China. I ordered one. It hasn't showed up. So, you know, it, 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 it may do similar things, but really what we're focused on is somebody with 137 properties. And so we're integrating with the management systems that those managers use and so on and so forth. Thanks. Does it keep a history of what went on that night, so if a cop does show up, say, hey, look. Look at this graph, dude. Yeah, I, was, was, I was really quiet. Yeah, this 95-year-old this said I was noisy, but. Nothing but my shield. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I promise. Um, that's actually a great question, because in Austin right now, there is a huge battle going on on what are called type 2 STRs, full-time uh, short-term rentals. And there are people calling noise complaints on them because they just don't like the concept of it. And so we've got a lot of interest in people saying, like, look, I could actually show somebody something other than just anecdote versus anecdote. 
So I think that's all the time we have. I will be here and I live in Dallas, so holla.